Hello my friends, welcome to a FOGA video. I haven't done FOGA in so long. I am Dr. Bree, founder of Fusion Fitness, and FOGA is a combination of fitness and yoga. Today we're gonna to create nice, long, lean, toned hips and thighs and booty with a combination of stretching and exercises on our mat, and we're gonna actually start standing. So let's get right into it right away. You don't need any equipment at all. When the music starts, we're gonna start in a lunge with our right leg back, core zipped up and strong, arms up. Follow the directions on the screen. Come down onto your hands and knees, and in this position, do a couple of cat and cows to make sure your back really feels loose. Then find a neutral position right in between the both extremes. In this position, lift your belly button away from the floor. Inhale into your chest, and then exhale, pull your belly button to spine without tucking your tail under. Right leg back, and five times, knee towards same side elbow. Now bring your straight leg directly out to the side and hold it five times, tap it up and down slow and controlled. Kickstand your left leg so you're now on your left hand and your left knee. 10 times, lift that right leg up and down. Core is strong, keep breathing. onto your hands and knees and release your back any way that feels good. 
Bring your right knee so it's behind the right wrist and then move into pigeon pose with your left leg straight out behind you. Make sure that it's straight back behind you and work toward bringing that right shin parallel toward the front edge of your yoga mat. If you need to pad up with a block or a blanket or pillow underneath your right hip, go ahead and do that. Stay up in pigeon or you can fold forward if that feels good to you. pigeon. You're going to stretch that leg, the bent leg, so for me my right leg, stretch it out behind you a few times and we're going to repeat the exact same sequence on the other side. So starting on the hands and knees, your left leg is going to go back and I'm going to just turn around so I can show you from a better view, but you don't have to turn around. So cat and cow a few times, find the neutral spine, lift belly button toward your spine, don't tuck your tailbone under, really keep that core strong and your back flat. Now left leg is behind you, five times, knee toward same side elbow. Straighten your left leg straight out to the side and five times tap and lift very slowly. Shift onto your right hand and your right knee. Core is strong, arm is lifted or at your hip and 10 times lift and lower your left straight leg. your hands and knees, release your back, move in a way that feels great to you, and then left knee behind left wrist, come into pigeon pose. Remember you can pad up under that left hip if you need to for support, and make sure your right leg is straight back behind you. Stay lifted or you can fold forward. up out of the pigeon pose and then bring and stretch that left leg back behind you rocking back and forth a few times just to reverse that deep pigeon pose stretch and get ready to come onto your side so face me your knees are going to be slightly bent your bottom leg slightly bent we're going to move into infinity hips so mirror me what I want you to do is keep your core strong 
You want to keep everything still except the top leg that's moving like an infinity sign or a figure of eight. Tap the knee to the floor and then tap the toe to the floor and just think of a swirling figure eight motion. We're doing 10 reps. Now straighten out your top leg, your long and lean toes pointed, and lift the bottom leg toward the top. 10 times, you're gonna hold the last one. Keep your core strong. Now hold it. You can see that I'm really working to keep breathing. Hold it. And release. Your top leg in the outer hip area should really be feeling it. So roll onto that side. And with long legs, body straight, come into a side seal pose. This is a yin yoga pose. You can be propped up on your elbow, or like I'm gonna show you in a moment, you can also straighten your arm. Other arm is in front of you for support, and just think of your body in one straight line, stretching out the side hip, the side waist, shoulders down away from your ears, and breathe. Now lower back down, but stay on this side. Bend your bottom knee and move into the infinity hips. Nice and slow and controlled. Now we're working the other leg. 10 reps. Do you love me? Straighten that top leg, long, lean legs. Lift the bottom leg toward the top 10 times. The last one you're going to hold for about five counts. legs high and release. Flip to the other side for side seal. You can be in a straight long line up on your elbow supported with your other arm. And if you want more like you did on the other side, you can straighten your arm. Be sure to keep your shoulders down, relaxed away from your ears and feel that great stretch on your outer hip, your abs and your back. Now roll onto your belly, bring your knees as wide as your yoga mat. Your upper body is gonna be relaxed down on the mat. Your heels or your toes can be together, but make sure your knees are apart. Again, heels or toes together. Lift your legs, lift your thighs up off the floor. Slow and controlled, really feel this, working your hamstrings and your glutes. 
Keep your upper body relaxed. We're doing this 10 times nice and slow. Now this time, bring your legs up, but keep them up. Hold them here, straighten both legs, and then bend. Straighten and then touch the toes or the heels together. Straighten and bend 15 times total. your hands, tuck your toes under, and ease your way back up onto your knees. From here, use the decompression breath where you exhale out through your mouth and then fold forward. That makes it easier on your pelvic organs and your pelvic floor, especially if you do have a problem like prolapse. Rest here in child's pose for just a few breaths. Carefully ease your way up out of child's pose and come to sit on your bottom and then roll down through your side all the way onto your back. We're going to go into a bridge sequence from here. So in a bridge position, I want you to begin making sure that your pelvis is level and your knees are in line with your hips. Roll up off the floor, one vertebrae at a time, nice and strong through your backside. And now pulse up. We're doing 10 pulses total with your feet flat on the ground. Four, three, two, one. Now hold it and bring your feet a little bit closer toward your bum, lifting your heels up off the floor. Pretend like you're in high heeled shoes and keep pulsing. Three, two, one. Feet flat on the floor, toes lift up in the air and pulse it up. Keep pulsing and five more, four, three, two, one. Now feet flat on the floor and we're gonna go leading with our right leg first, forward, forward, back, back. Again, forward, forward, back, back. Three more times. Two more times, keep your bum lifted. One more time, and then hold it, and other side, leading with the left leg. Forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. Three more times, keep your bum lifted nice and high. Don't let it drag down toward the floor. Keep it lifted, lifted, and last time, I know you're working hard, hold it. If you still have more in you, clasp your hands underneath you, work your shoulders underneath your back, and only if you have the strength, put your weight into your left leg and lift your right leg up into the air nice and high. Your knee can be bent. And carefully lower it down, switch sides. Weight in your right leg and lift that left leg up toward the sky. Straight leg or knee can be bent. Keep the hips lifted and then lower it down. From here, release your hands, roll down, and stretch your body out. Now bring your legs up one at a time. Bring both legs into your chest, and we're gonna move into happy baby. Begin just by reaching through the inside of your legs and holding on to the outside of your feet. Straighten one leg at a time, bending the other. So again, you're holding on to the outside of your feet, bend one leg and straighten the other. 
feel this nice hamstring stretch and an opening in your pelvic floor and the inner thighs. Deep breaths. When you feel ready, switch to the other side. So straighten the other leg. Breathe deeply down into your pelvic floor and really lengthen your tailbone toward the floor. Move into the full happy baby. Both legs are bent, feet are up toward the ceiling, soles of the feet up toward the ceiling. Pulling your thighs down toward the floor, knees are bent and tailbone lengthens toward the floor. Breathe deeply. We'll move into a quick hamstring stretch. So hold on to the back of the thigh. You can play with flexing or pointing your toe and just see what the difference is how that feels different in your hamstrings. Breathe deeply and keep your back flat on the ground. Switch sides. Hold onto the back of the other thigh. Try flexing and pointing your foot and just feel the difference. Breathe into the stretch. And next up, we're gonna move into something that is optional. If you don't feel like you're quite ready for this, uh, it's a core abdominal strengthener, then just watch this first time through. You're gonna engage your pelvic floor strongly, pulling your low abs. Hold on behind your thighs, and on an exhale, rock up to a boat position, a modified boat where you're holding on to the backs of your thighs. Your spine is long and your heart is lifted. Abdominals pulled in and keep breathing. Now stay here, or if you want to, you can bring your hands and your arms in between your legs. Press your knees against your arms and your arms against your knees. It's an isometric contraction. Breathe, keep your core strong and your spine long. Exhale, exhale, and then release. Come into a butterfly, a nice gentle butterfly, and let it all go. You did awesome. From here, just drop both knees to the right and the left, twist out your low back, do any finishing stretches that you need to do. And remember, if you loved this video, please subscribe to my channel, give it a like, share it with your friends, and as always, remember, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. If you are an essential oils user, then I highly recommend the next time you do this routine, you check out the citrus oils like grapefruit, lemon, peppermint for energy, and cinnamon. All of these oils stabilize your blood sugar, help boost your metabolism, and can be found in the Slim and Sassy Metabolic Blend, which I love. I am so glad you joined me today. Thanks again, and please come back again.